Today I will be showing you the Electronica audiometer. This one comes in a black hard case that holds the device and all of its components. Once you open it up you will find the CD software so you use this to install it on your computer. There is also the device itself along with the response switch. So this one's for the patient to use. Next we have the new and improved headphones. So these are Sennheiser top of the range for audiometers. And we've also got the USB cable. To set up the device, you'll need to plug all of these components into the audiometer. So the audiometer has three different ports. There is one for the headphones, one for the response switch, and also one for the USB. The USB provides power to the audiometer, so as soon as it's plugged in and plugged into the computer, it will automatically power up. Next you'll need to put in the patient response switch. So this one has the green around it, just to make it easier. And the last one is the headphone port. Now you are ready to install the CD onto your computer. So once you put the CD into the computer, the first thing that will pop up is the choose a language box. So please choose English and click OK. Next, the Electronica Startup menu will appear, so just click Install to continue the installation. Um, the Installation Wizard will come up, so just follow the prompts and click Next. You can also agree to the terms and conditions by clicking the box down there and then click Next to continue. Here you can choose where you would like the software to be placed. Just click Next. And then you can also choose what you wish the software to be called. After this, you can just um, agree to install. The download will only take a couple of minutes. Once it's downloaded, you can choose to run the software. So this will take you to the home screen. So if you click the Create a Patient icon, it will open up a new window. So um, you can fill out all the details here. I've just created a patient. There's optional fields, so it's up to you depending on how much info you'd like to give. Um, you can put in that it's an annual hearing test. So once you've got that all in, you can just click OK and it'll take you to a test. Once this window appears, you'll be able to take a test. So on the left hand side, all of your patient details will come up. So um, this is the one that I've created and you can click test launch once you're ready to um, complete a test. So here it will show the response time that the patient gave hearing the sounds and they will respond based on what they hear and when. So once the test has run its course, you can click OK. So you also have the opportunity um, here to put in some more notes if you feel they're necessary, and these will come up in the report. So you can then print by selecting print, or you can choose to export the file to save the report to the PC. In the settings, you can make a lot of changes. So one of the things most people ask for is the restrictions in the frequencies that are being tested. The minimum requirements are 150 to 4K, and you can switch the rest off. So they will be on by default, but I've already taken them off. And um, you can also change the type of diagnostic. So I find that this one is the preferred style. Um, you can also change the sound type from continuous to pulsed or the starting frequencies as well. For the manual tests, if you go to the top of the page, you can change and adjust their settings here and you can also change the scenario settings on this page. These adjustments can be made really easily to how you prefer. Once you're finished, you can also just click OK to accept those. 